First and foremost, I want to give all First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechah Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom Lava Aquarium, that was the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, by Hashem, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the name of the only begotten Son who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. By Hashem Rechah means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth, Shalom Lava Aquarium, peace to the elect. The men, women, and children who were slated to be delivered in these last days. And I'm chuckling because, you know, everything I know for us, what we're about, we're, everything that we're about. And when I say us, you know, uh, what you know today as Great Millstone, you know, which is just a label, you know, of particular men, you know, that are like mine of spirituality and the spiritual priesthood and the spiritual sacrifices, the spiritual temple. That's what we're in league with, you know. And uh, you see everything's going on. You got uh, things that's hot in Iran. You know, you got the COVID. COVID has been spreading and what have you, you know, according to the sources. Then all of a sudden, you know, little do you know, this uh, black Hebrew Israelite, as it's been called, as it's been labeled, <clears throat> because real Israelites don't call themselves black Hebrew Israelites, by the way. And if they, if you if you come across that individual, then that individual is not truly, you know, representing uh, Israel. He's not truly representing Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is light and anything about black represents death. So we're not about death. We don't want to acknowledge anything that we're about, about death. So with that being said, for someone to be uh, to take it upon himself uh, to be presumptuous, all right, which is uh, clearly goes against uh, Romans the 13th chapter, all right, Romans the 13th chapter says, uh, uh, sub let me get that it's lock here and I'm, you know as you already know I'm not quite sure the brothers already uh, uh, the brothers that are in the know brothers that you know what know what time it is the brothers that's in the loop know what's going on man you know and uh you've seen it you know through the spirit keeping watch you know and because that's this is major news this is what we're looking for you know scriptures tell you oh that's another scripture I'm thinking about this is I'm, I'm gonna get that after uh Isaiah the 13th chapter uh, let every soul be subject to the higher powers For there is No power but of the most high The powers that be are ordained Of the most high you see So it says whosoever therefore resisteth Or fighteth the power meaning what Esau Edom Cain in this time the un Mr. Untouchable Esau Edom okay in this time Resisteth the ordinance of the most high And they that resist Shall receive to themselves Damnation so if you fight against the powers that are set up by the Heavenly Father, all right? And uh, the powers that be is uh, ruled through a nation of people called the Edomites, all right? And which are uh, red people. <laughs> Esau, E, all right? They're red people, the red people of the earth, okay? Nevertheless, all right? So if you go against that, then you're going against the powers that be, all right? It's essentially, you're not a spiritual Israelite. <laughs> And not to the sense of where you can't be an Israelite and you make yourself an Israelite that call yourself a spiritual Israelite because that was never the case, all right? Because the third temple was being built, all right? Just like the when the uh, the, the 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 mission of Nehemiah, all right, to uh, fortify the temple and uh, restructure the temple all over again and put it put the uh, put the heaps in the ruins, all right, uh, back together and it was assembled particular men, all right, that would was on that mission with their swords on their side. All right, in these times, those men are building a spiritual house, building that spiritual temple with the spiritual sword, period. Okay, nothing more, nothing less. Okay, spiritual men, and that temple is being built. And that's why all this chaos is being erupted right now. Because just like in ancient times, when, when, when Nehemiah wanted to uh, 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 travel his journey, leaving uh, Xerxes, okay, when he left Xerxes, he had a bill of travel. He had a seal with the, the king's stamp on it saying that he was able to travel through the different countries and they would give him pass so he can get back to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple, right? But on his journey, all right, what happened? You had uh, the other nations coming up against him saying, whoa, 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 these feeble Jews, they called them, okay? The feeble, the weak. Why? Because we, our people were in a, a complete subjection during that time and the other nations were upset because the, the children of Israel were uh, growing in capacity, just like Egypt, okay? 
Just like Egypt, what happened during the time of Egypt? Just like during the time of the Romans, the Idumeans, the Herodians. When they seen Israel being, growing large in number, when they seen Israel uh, having miraculous occurrences, all right? They wanted to uh, uh, smear, they wanted, they started smear campaigning, okay? So that's what you see in this right here. For those that have ears to hear, let them hear, okay? Those that have eyes to see, let them see, all right? You only are able to see or hear if the spirit was bestowed upon you. And that's the only way, all right? That's the straight gate, all right? The anointing of this holy priesthood, okay? Nevertheless, all right? Nevertheless, you see this here, and you know, we know it is gonna come. And, and, and quite frankly, when I heard, you know, when I watched the, the uh, news broadcast about this, uh, 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 <laughs> about this so-called heinous crime, which the so-called white man can shoot you down in the middle of the street. All right, let's say hypothetically this did happen, and this man jumped up and, you know, he he paraded himself to, uh, uh, he, he gathered the courage to do this. All right? Now, essentially, he didn't go off. All right? In so many words, man. Okay? Hey, look, man. There's going to be many more occurrences like this, but the spiritual men are going to be spiritual. And men such as myself, speaking for myself, and men that think likewise, don't do that. Okay? The reason why I say he didn't go off because the scriptures tell you there'd be spirits created for vengeance. And one of them is death. All right? And that death angel is coming back, man. All right? And that death angel is uh, surely on his way with the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? This, he's coming to reap with the sickle. All right? Hey, Yahweh Shai is going to have a sickle, man. All right? Scriptures tell you that, man. All right? He's going to get the swinging out here, man. All right? It's going to be a dreadful day out here, man. You know, to redeem the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? That's what's going to happen, man. All right, Yahweh Shai, man, and that's what they. You see, and, and it's seasonal too because Esau Edom. You got to look at the traits. You got to look at the time frame because if you go back, all right, they always doing something with Iran at the same time. It's all spiritual that they well, they want to put these things out. Just like last year, man, the end of, in, in December, you had that whole situation with Jersey, and and, and no uh, uh, at the uh, 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 the end of November going into December, that whole thing occurred, which you know you had. The, uh, uh, the whole thing with the so-called Jew getting killed, whatever the case is, that happened, I remember specifically, and the, and, uh, uh, they was broadcasting that in the early December, just like now. You see the whole, and then later on, uh, Kamini got hit, uh, not Kamini, I keep saying Kamini, but you know, uh, 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 the Iranian uh, general got hit around the same time, December, January, all right? At the same time, they, had, they, they showing all the Israelites, just like you go back two years ago, it was around, January, December, you know, when they broadcast particular brothers, you had the San Fran brothers up, you know, that that's when they like to do this little broadcasting, you know, like in this time frame when when Jake is in Mary, when you know when Jake 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 want to have Christmas and all that, all right. And a quick note, I'm gonna go into it, but that's why the fir tree is gonna rejoice, man. The fir tree, <laughs> the fir trees is gonna rejoice, man. You know, I'm gonna go into that Lord's will later on because the fir tree. That's the main tree that they hacked down for Christmas. <clears throat> the scriptures tell you that the fir tree is going to rejoice. You know? And I'm going to go into that, Lord's will, man. But you're going, but everything is spiritual, man. You know, this is when Esau likes to move, man. This is the, the time of the, the temple and everything, man. You know, where, 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 you know, the feast of dedication and everything. It was winter time, man. This is when this devil likes to move. When Yahweh Shai was snatched up, it was, it was cold out, man. All right? Scriptures show you that, man. Okay? That, hey, that's why Yahweh Shai pray not. Hey, they're talking about a dark winter, right? You know what the scripture say? Uh, uh, pray uh, that your flight be not in winter. But this is what they're doing, man. All right, that's why you, you're supposed to have your medicine strong, man. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shai, man. You know? That's why prayer is important, man. That's, is important, man. that's what Yahweh Shai say to do in the winter. This is winter time is, is, is after hunting, you know, after the gathering, right? And then winter time is when typically people are inside because. They don't like the cold. They don't want to go out. And they've, they've, they've done their hunting and they've done their uh, crop sharing during the harvest, right? And they, you know, they have enough food to last them for whatever have you time till the winter blows over. Why? Because the winter is rough times, okay? 
The winter's a rough time. And um, I'm going to close off on this because I said I was going to get it. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 13 because it's ultimately what we're looking for. Isaiah. All right. Bear with me. Boom. Isaiah 13 and 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice to them that shake the hand. Woo. You know, he said, lift the voice to them that shake the hand. Who's those that shake the hand? Esau, Edom. And we're going to shake our hand at them, the ones that shake their hand. Okay. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. Right. You see? So when we shake our, when we shake our hand towards those that shake their hand. All right. Meaning we're shaking your hand, laying down judgment. When we start bringing out that judgment. We start firing back through the spirit, through the word of the Lord. All right, they're gonna bring it to the gates of the nobles, just like how they did with Paul. And this is a prequel to what you're seeing because they're gonna hold up accusations toward these particular men. All right, these accusations are no, they're, they're not for anybody but the elect. Ultimately, for the nation of Israel, but most of you're gonna bow down because of this, because you're being made the victim in the eyes of your God. Okay, it says, lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain that exalt the voice upon unto them, shake the hand. That they may go into the gates of the nobles, right? So we gonna shake our hand, man, and so that we go into and we gonna we gonna lay we gonna express the spirit of the Lord, and that's what's gonna be the rousing up. That's what's gonna be the ultimate rousing up, all right? Because that's what that's Yahweh Shai going into Genesis the 49th chapter, right? Who shall rouse him up? All right, it's Judah, and ultimately we're being roused up by the spirit of the Lord, and that's what's gonna be the real rousing up. Why? Because your sins have reached unto heaven, and that's what. And incited Herod, all right, to uh, 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 do the things that he was doing, all right. When Yahweh was calling him out, he said, "Go, go, and, go and tell that fox." He said, "I cast out devils." You know, I called upon my father's name. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, I'm kind of on the move, so you know. And the spirit got on because I was watching that video. So you know, Lord, as well, I'll go into this stuff later on. You know, but in the meantime, you know, this is what. Ultimately, what it's going to boil down to, man. All right? Call Lord Yahweh Ba Shimi Shai. Shalom.